So now I want to discuss uh, these results about uh, elements with the same minimal polynomial in, in algebraic extension. So we have seen this uh, uh, general result, this theorem, that says that given, um, say, two algebraic extensions, Simple extension, so of the form k of alpha with one element and k of beta, where k is our ground field. Then uh, suppose alpha and beta have the same minimal polynomial. So if these two elements have the same uh, minimal polynomial, then there exists an isomorphism of field extensions, field extensions. So there exists a K isomorphism. Sigma from k of alpha to k of beta. So recall that the k isomorphism is an isomorphism of field which is k linear. So restricted to the field k is the identity. So, and also uh, I was gonna forget that this also has, we can choose sigma such that sigma of alpha is equal to beta. Now I want to discuss the converse of this result. So conversely, given uh, say two, um, two algebraic extensions, K of alpha, K of beta, and um, let's suppose that we have such a K isomorphism. with sigma of alpha equal beta, then we have uh, that necessarily alpha and beta have the same minimal polynomial. So now let's denote, uh, so let's prove this fact. Let's uh, denote by f the minimal polynomial of alpha. And similarly by g the minimal polynomial of beta. So let, let me recall the basic facts about minimal polynomials. So f uh, of course, um, is the minimal polynomial of beta uh, of alpha. It means that alpha is a root, and f is um, monic. So the coefficient of the leading term is one, and f divides any polynomial h such that alpha is uh, a root of h. So we have this sigma, this k isomorphism, which uh, fixes the ground field. So what does it mean for uh, a polynomial, say sigma 
of the polynomial of the following form. Well, of course, this is uh, k linear, so this can be written as sigma of sigma of ai sigma of x i, and these are elements of the field which are fixed. So sigma x act as the identity here. So this can be just written as sigma, uh, sorry, the sum of uh, a i sigma of x power i, which of course can be written as sigma of x. So this can be rewritten as sum of um, ai sigma of x power i. Now, in other words, uh, acting with sigma on the polynomial f, we have that, uh, say, f of alpha will be equal to sigma will be equal to f of sigma of alpha. Now, if we started with our minimal polynomial f for alpha, so f of alpha is zero, therefore this is zero. And of course, f of sigma of alpha, this element by our assumption is equal to beta. So we see that f uh, has also beta as a root. And of course, symmetrically, we would find the same thing for um, g so also g would have alpha as a root so by this we see that uh, f um, sorry that yes that g by this equation we see that g divides f but also from the symmetrical situation with g we see that f divides g and since we are um, dealing with monic polynomials, this implies that f is equal to g.